السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم رب شحری صدری و یسر امری و حل العقدہ من لسانی یفقہ قولی ربنا زدنا علما Um, so here we have an ayah uh, from Surah Al-Ma'idah, ayah number 6. And I was asked, why is this word aidiyakum and the other one is aidiyakum? Um, so to start, um, in case you're not aware, there are three kinds of words in Arabic. Um, there are verbs, fi'al, um, there are nouns, or equivalent of noun, ism, and then harf, a particle. So this one is a verb. So a, this is fa, this is a particle, and then it's combined with this verb, fa silu. So you all wash. So Allah is saying here, wash. You all wash, but what do you wash? So in Arabic, to show what are you washing, you make that word mansub. Mansub, it usually ends with a fatha. Fatha. So fa silu. What? You wash your face, wujuhakum, so there's a fatha, and aidiyakum, so there's also a fatha there, right? So that's why it has fatha, aidiyakum. But this one, if that's true, this is saying you'll wipe, fam sahu, but why is it aidiyakum? It's because of this little letter here. This is harf. Um, what it does is this ba, bi, uh, it makes the word after it um, majrur. Majrur, that means it will have a kasra. And in Arabic, whatever the format of the word before wa, it will also be the same after wa, mean end this word wa. So, bi wujuhikum wa. Aidikum. So that's why this one has kasra or this one, uh, yeah. So because majuru would be kasra or yeah. So at least in this case. So fam sahu, you will think it's mansub supposedly, but because of this, this jar harf jar, it became majuru. So wuju hikum wa aidikum, right? So that is the reason why. Inshallah, you found this helpful. Um, Jazakumullah khayyam for watching. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.